Hello everybody, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Sorry if the video looks a little bit, I don't know, fuzzier um, because I'm filming in the day, um, which normally I do film in the morning, but since I moved um, my like filming thing, um, the natural light is like kind of fighting with my um, lamp here and so it's like making it a little bit fuzzy but I still think it looks fine and it's okay because I'm, be sh I'm gonna be showing you products anyway so it shouldn't be you know that off but anyway today's video as you saw by the title we'll be doing our final update for the um, graveyard project pan so this isn't the finale it's just the final update so this is our last update before the finale <sighs> if you don't know, if you're new to these videos, this project pan was started by Emily and Max here on YouTube. Um, and yeah, it's called the Graveyard Project Pan. Um, wow, well, I didn't even say let's get started and I already started. <laughs> anyway um yeah it's a fun project pan i do lots of project pans here on my channel if you want to definitely subscribe because i do a lot of them um and yeah if you like this video definitely give it a thumbs up and without further ado let's just get started <laughs> it is called the graveyard project project pan there are two categories in this project pan one is the resurrection category which are products that have been in a previous project pan that you didn't hit your goal on and then there's the um collecting cobwebs category which are products that are going bad hitting their expiration that you're not using um i kind of changed that one around to um products that i'm just not using or i'm not reaching for because they're not necessarily old um they're not necessarily like going to expire but i just don't reach for them so um yeah you could pick five to ten products for this project pan um and the finale is august 31st so we got two months basically um to finish off these project uh products um so yeah let's just jump in first uh, all i for the first wow when we first started this project pan i had only products from the resurrection category because i thought that was super fun um but the first product was the morphe and jaclyn hill ring the alarm palette and i wanted to hit pan um at first i wanted to hit pan on the shade rush right here and then i wanted to use it 25 times and I have not. I literally, <laughs> I had, I just watched my last update so that I can like see what I was talking about and stuff like that. And I freaking said I had, I needed to only use it 18 times between that update and this update. And I probably used it about three. And that might be a stretch because I just am not reaching for this palette right now. This is a very fall-esque palette. And so right now I'm trying to get my last like summer, just very nice, um, looks in that are neutral not too warm toned you know what i mean um and i do love a good like fall look i love the warm tone warm warm tones and delicious browns and oranges um and so i definitely will be reaching for this in the fall but i'm just not reaching for it right now and so <sighs> i don't know why i put, even put it in here i mean i actually do because this is an old palette and um i need to get a lot more use out of it which i will um hopefully during the fall and then i can boot it out but yeah, I think we're going to roll this out for now, um, just because I'm not using it. I'm not going to force myself, and I do have other eyeshadows that I am using more, um, which is the Too Faced to Gold Peach Palette here. So, oh my gosh, I'm so excited. So, um, last month I did have the, sorry, last update I did have a um, hip pan in this one, but as you can see, I've expanded the pan a little bit, or you can't see, maybe if you don't know, but I did expand the pan a little bit, and the dip to this shade, which is the shade... Um, peach spice i am like literally so close to hitting pan it's not even funny um i love this palette so much and i think it's so much fun trying to pan this palette so i'm definitely going to keep it in and keep trying to use more of this shade and use um definitely hit pan on that shade um i definitely could do it by the next update i just have to put it out here on my desk so that i'm using it um and it should be easy breezy lemon squeezy i'm getting hot so i need a fan break <laughs> Um, so this palette is, I use, it's a very easy peasy palette. These mattes in here are literally perfect for everyday wear and tear. And um, today I actually used this, um, which is Love Pit, this deeper shade right here. And so I think, again, it'll be perfect for like that transition between um, summer and fall because it's still like those neutral tones, but you have like that hint of like brown and richness that is gonna be fun like for the transition and so i think i can use this more i definitely will be able to hit pan on that expand the pan on this and maybe use this one get some more use out of love pit here um but yeah the shimmers i don't see myself ever hitting pan on quite honestly unless i like really force myself but yes i'm really excited about that we're gonna keep that one going this product is ofra rodeo drive and guys i am i didn't hit pan yet so this is the ofra highlighter again in rodeo drive look how much use i have in this product and i wanted to bring out i brought out my newest Ofra highlighter. Um, I've probably used this about maybe like 10 times or something like that. Um, but 
I don't know if you guys can tell the difference between the two, the two, but I don't know what the pan in here looks like, honestly. I don't, I haven't seen too many people hit pan on this shade, on the shadow, but you can see like how much use I've actually used out of this. Like now you can actually tell. And I'm just so excited. I'm going to keep rolling, keep using it. You know, the goal was kind of just to use it, um, but if I could hit pan, that would be totally awesome. That'd be so much fun. I've been using this this month, August. I've been using this basically every day. Today I decided to actually wear the, the shade Soho on my face which is why I was like oh let me compare them um but every other time I was wearing highlighter I was wearing this one because I just love it so much and it's so perfect for just everything and so um yes um I'm excited to keep you know using that and definitely want to hit pan hopefully now 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 I'm like catching myself I'm like I don't want to feel like I failed if I don't hit pan because I've been using the crap out of that and I'm so happy about it but I also would love to hit pan you know so if I like motivate myself maybe I could I don't know so we'll see all right next is next uh last was the Too faced um uh, blah, 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 born this way naturally radiant creamy concealer i did finish this guy up oh, i was just hurt myself i did finish this guy up i'm so excited i mean I, I told you guys i only had like a few uses left and honestly um that's all there is in there there's some on the wand there but that was just the um, um once i got once you get to the end it kind of gets goopy i don't know if you guys can tell it's like a thick goopiness oh here we can see i don't know it's just no longer regular concealer it's like this hard stuff at the bottom and so i was like i'm not gonna fight with that i basically used it up i got my completely got my money's worth out of this um so amazing so excited so pumped i'm glad i finished this up ah, woo. Um, Alright, and then, so then my last update, I did roll in a few products. First, I rolled in the Physician Formula Butter Bronzer. I actually got rid of that. I decluttered it because I just didn't like it. And so, and so I wanted to tell you that I decluttered that um, and I just won't be using it. But then I also rolled in the Auto Bomb, the... For, wow, the Balm Auto Bomb Girl Powder Cheeks on the Go Blush. Um, and I have been using this. I actually looked at my last update and I was like, whoa, girl, like it, you can't, it's hard to tell... It's hard to tell unless you're in person, but there is some wear in that, and I do love this blush, which is why I think I could, like, I don't think I could hit pan at this point, because there's uh, quite a bit of product in there, and I have quite a bit of blushes, but just using it, I think, is my goal, and at this point, um, yeah, I've never hit pan on a blush, and I've never, like, used up a blush, nothing like that, and so I think this would be fun um, to, like, kind of just push myself, get it started, at least for next year. Um, again, this is another shade that's going to be perfect for fall, and even this transition between fall and summer, it's just, like, that kind of warm-toned kind of blush. I mean, it is pretty warm and, like, delicious, but it's, like... I'm not only that I can be used for whatever you'd like and so <laughs> I think it's the perfect blush like right in the middle um and yeah I just have to push myself to use it a little bit more than I do I just stabbed it great um but yeah other I feel like I can do it um as I, 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 can, I don't know why like I, I I don't know why I don't like just mix it with other blushes when I'm putting on blushes I don't know I don't use it to its full capacity but I can and again I don't want to hit pan again I don't want to feel like a failure and get to the finale and be like I didn't hit pan but like I do want to use it and so We'll keep that one going. And then I also rolled in last month the Morphe Fluidity Concealer. Um, I wanted to finish this up. And it's too light for me right now. So I have used it like a handful of times in the last few months um, since my last update. But it is really, really light for me right now. So it's kind of hard to make it work. Um, but again, I think that as my tan starts to fade and stuff like that, I would definitely be using this a lot. I have a lot of concealers and a lot of projects. But... If I put my mind to it, I feel like I could use them all up because we have four months left and um, all the concealers are like very well, they're very used or they're very small. And so it shouldn't be a problem. This might be my hardest one because this is probably the fullest, but I know I love this concealer. So I feel like I can do it. I could push myself um, to do it or at least get a good crack on it for next year to just throw it in a product pan and then just finish it up. Um, but yeah, I think I'm this, I'm rolling in another uh, two new products because I feel like, um, Right now is crunch time. We got four more months for the year, year four more months until my um, end of the year <laughs> inventory, and I want to get as much out as I can before then. Um, and so August 31st is still gives me a couple months um, in the year for my other project pans, but still, I want to get these done or use as much as I can right now so that I can change my inventory. Like, a lot of these are not going to change my inventory even if I hit pan. So, for this one, I definitely want to use up so I can change my inventory. And then I'm rolling in two products. First, I'm rolling in a lip gloss. This is the Tower 28 Shine On um, 
lip jelly in the shade chill it's super small super tiny again i want to just get it out of my lip gloss collection i don't want to have to worry about it um i never use this because i don't really love the formula honestly it's weird like it is a jelly but it's like a very liquidy jelly and i just don't like it i really don't like it um and so i want to just get it out change my inventory we're gonna put in this project pan get her done same with this this is the cover effects high performance setting spray i actually do enjoy this i just never use it because i have so many that i like but it's so small it's like why is, why does this need to count in my inventory it really doesn't i have two months definitely can crack this out get her done finish it up whatever it is it needs to go period <laughs> so those are the two products i'm rolling in um I'm very excited. I feel like I could do it. Um, the three products I want to finish up are these three, the concealer, the Tower 28 lip gloss, um, sorry, Tower 28 lip jelly, and then the Cover FX spray. And then the products that I just want to, you know, use, kind of use are these two right here, Over Rodeo Drive and the Autobomb blush. And then the product that I want to hit pan on is definitely that shade down here, which is Peach Spice in the um, Tickle Peach Palette. Why am I sweating like a crazy person? Oh my gosh. And yeah, so that is it for this video, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. Definitely subscribe so you guys can see my final progress at the end, October 31st. I believe that's the final. October 31st. Um, and so I'm really excited. I'm really pumped. I feel like I could do it. Um, we'll see. <laughs> Bye, guys. Whoa, oh my gosh. Someone come get me right now. Oh, so the quote for today is, your past is a lesson, not a life sentence. Forgive yourself and focus on the future. And it's just so true. That's it for this video, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye, guys.